Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we'll go back to Halmiya days to take you to some of the most memorable, lovely, enjoyable journeys that I used to have when I was young. One of them was always Friday because Friday was our holiday. When we used with my mother and her relatives and neighbors to go to take a bus number 13 and from a place called Citadel of Salah al-Din yani, to a place called uh, uh, Freedom Park. Uh, Freedom Park is near, uh, just not close to Tahlil Square between uh, Qasr and Neil Bridge and uh, Al Jala Bridge in this area. It was so enjoyable. All of us, our children, used to carry everything. The food, the drink, uh, the blankets, the rags to sit down on it. And it was a very, very, very enjoyable and joyful journey for all of us. We used to get out from the house at 7 o'clock in the morning, come back maybe 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening. And uh, my mother and her relative used to sit under the tree uh, and preparing the sandwiches and the food. And even sometimes we used to get pots of uh, what they call dolma, you see, mahshi, uh, with us at that time as well. You see the old trees, which may be 50 years or 100 years or more and less, and you see the big greenery, huge green area for us to play football and to run and race and scream and see the old fruit trees in this area, something called bambusia. Bambusia looks like an olive tree, but very tasty uh, and with a better uh, taste. Unfortunately, nowadays, this uh, Freedom Park uh, is not as big as it was before. There was a hotel there, maybe there was another buildings. I don't know how people think about uh, the life of the citizens and how they can come and uh, enjoy themselves in a park. You see, anti-park people build this kind of huge building there. The second best journey was to al Qanat al-Khariya. al Qanat al-Khariya, it was outside Cairo built by uh, Muhammad Ali and it was a huge uh, green area to serve the Qanat al Khariya and you have to travel there by, by, by the river Nile and take maybe an hour and when you are there it's just a green area it's just a beautiful green area jumping, running, uh, competing, relaxing, sitting under a tree everything you can do but unfortunately same corruption again see it's not uh, beautiful as it was before and those corrupt individuals this individual has a villa or has a house or has a cafeteria or what and there's no green area in this and this might have been a waqf of, of for the Egyptian uh, in this area to have a breathing space for themselves enjoyable but unfortunately nowadays it's not enjoyable any, anymore uh, the third journey is actually to go to the citadel of Sudah al -Din to pray in the mosque, beautiful mosque, uh, on the top uh, of the hill there, as well as we used to visit the military uh, museum. You go to the military museum to find all the old guns, cannons, knives, spades, uh, bullets, uh, and everything. Different kind of dress, different history, different era of time. And we used to stay there and uh, Man used to explain to us, uh, and was to be very, very astonished by the beauty of the, uh, the, the, the museum itself. We go out when we finish uh, this, go to another palace called the, the Diamond Palace, the Qasr al Jawhara. Qasr al Jawhara, that was the Diamond Palace. Diamond Palace is uh, where the furniture of Muhammad Ali the Great uh, of Egypt. Muhammad Ali Pasha of Egypt and his children, the Khalifa, not Khalifa, Khadawi and others, and this room, and this room, and this sofa, and this uh, chair, and this seat, and with these suits, and swords, and others. So we used to go through the depths of the history of Muhammad Ali and Pasha and his family. When we used to finish, actually, we, there's a, a place like, a, 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 not a balcony, a, a seating uh, uh, on the top, uh, of, of the hill there and from there you can see the whole of Cairo this was the highest point of Cairo at the time you sit down there you sit down and look at the houses the streets the avenues the the, the life going as, as it should be going nobody can stop the life at that time 
This journey for us was extremely uh, amusing journey because it's about three to four, no, about three to four, three kilometers or four kilometers walking distance between our house in Hilmiya and go to the uh, citadel of Salah al-Din. And when we used to go out at night to explain to our father and our mother and our uh, sisters and brother uh, how uh, did we see the knives of this and the spade and the cannon and the bullets and 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 my mother and my father to be very happy of this uh, the uh, another journey which used to make it to a place called al mudaffar al mudaffar al mudaffar mudaffar is an area was a open area behind the two great mosques one of them is called sultan hassan and the other one is called uh, Al-Rifai. And this open area was used to for uh, soccer games. At the time, as I mentioned before, the soccer games at that time made out of a, a, a socks full of uh, sponge, rounded by thread or, or rope, and was putting in a, in a, in a, in a glue to make it rounded and to make it sticky, uh, to make it actually to stick together. And there was a leak, five-a-side leak. With, it was actually at that time was more developed to walk some line, white lines in the center and in a, uh, uh, the back uh, for the gold. And many teams used to be standing there and used to be standing watching and yelling and hailing and shouting and screaming to support this team and this team. Because each team used to come to play in this league actually uh, from a different area. And sometimes the, the, the cost of the, you have to pay a, co a, a fee for playing actually uh, because we used to have a free and everybody was wearing either their pajama or their trousers. Very rarely you find somebody wearing a proper football uh, dress. And so between Al Hurriya as a freedom park, Al uh, Qanatir in in Cairo Muhammad Ali Al Qanatir, the uh, the military museum and the football league in Al Mudaffar. This was the most enjoyable time for a child to still remembering his good old days and his good old friends. Thank you very much for watching the video and if you like it, please share it.